So what actually is muscle cramp? What's going on inside the body that results in the pain of debility of muscle cramp? To understand what's going on, let's first have a look at the action of voluntary muscles like those in the car, for example. A voluntary muscle is one you can control as to where and how it moves, unlike muscles like in the heart, which continue to act without you actually thinking about them. The muscle of the calf is made up of long fibres which can contract or expand, and as they do so, they pull or relax on the Achilles tendon on the heel to enable you to either walk or run or move. As the muscle fibres contract, they also bunch up and expand. And when you get cramp, either group of fibres within the muscle or the whole muscle contracts without you wishing it to. It can last from anywhere from a few seconds to up to an hour and also can reoccur in the same location shortly after the first instant of the cramp. Because the contraction is involuntary, there's nothing you can actually do about it immediately. So it appears that the muscle and joint it operates are actually kind of locked in position. It isn't unusual. Nearly everybody gets muscle cramps from time to time. And they also tend to become more frequent as you get older. The good news is generally they don't cause any permanent damage to your body whatsoever. However, they are minimising the ways of actually it happening. A cramp can be caused by nerves in the muscles getting overexcited and they cause the muscle to contract as a result. Alternatively, vigorous activity or even sitting or lying in the same position for too long can mean that the muscle becomes fatigued so it needs to contract or it spasms. If the muscle is continually supplied with the essential needs to operate smoothly, the chances are reduced of this actually happening. This can include things like being properly hydrated, it may be impaired if you're suffering from liver or kidney damage, but also you need to have the right elements in the blood, so a shortage of things like calcium, magnesium and potassium can cause problems, which can also then be exacerbated by things like poor circulation it can reduce the oxygen supply to the muscles. Then again, cramps can also be the result of the various side effects of some medicines. So, if you do get a cramp, what can you do about it? Well, in time, it'll actually cure itself, but you can massage the muscle to help improve circulation at that affected point. Also, a warm pad or towel will help. If it continues, Things like drinking water may help reduce the impact or prevent reoccurrence in the same place. Now the pain you normally feel in a muscle cramp can be a result of a combination of a lack of oxygen getting into the muscles and the muscles themselves contracting severely, meaning the muscle is under stress, which is reflected in the pain that you feel. So that is what muscle cramp is and the pain and debility that it causes.